Hello everyone and welcome back to another cleaning video. It is just after 7 a.m. and it is currently still dark outside. It's a nice crisp autumn day. Actually, it's about 30 degrees and we got a little dusting of snow this morning and it is a perfect day for cleaning and I am feeling extra motivated today to get it all done. So I've got a lot of cleaning motivation coming your way. Today I'm going to be focusing mostly on the first floor doing a mini deep clean. I'm going to be cleaning the dishwasher, inside of the oven, my cabinets, and walls. Plus at the end of the video I'm going to show you a few Christmas decor items that I just recently ordered. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it gives you lots of cleaning inspiration and motivation. Drop a comment down below if you plan on giving your home a good scrub today. Okay, let's dive into this cleaning video. So with any good cleaning day, I always start by unloading and reloading the dishwasher. And my dishwasher is due for a good scrub down on the inside. So I just am using my all-purpose cleaner and giving it a good scrub and wiping it down with a microfiber towel. I'm just making sure to scrub off any of the food residue that is on the dishwasher. I know that to clean the inside of your dishwasher, you can run it without any dishes in it. But to be honest with you, I feel like there's never a time where I don't have dishes in my dishwasher, but I do need to make that a priority in the future because I have never done that with this dishwasher. And it's definitely due for a really, really good cleaning, but this is going to suffice for now. So now that the dishes are in the dishwasher, it's time to give this dirty sink a really good scrub down. So first I'm just starting by removing the grate and then I am going to just try and get some of that food waste and put it down into the garbage disposal. Next, I'm just spraying my all-purpose cleaner, which I didn't mention before. I am using Branch Basics non-toxic all-purpose cleaner. Um, I've been testing it out for probably about a month now and so far it works pretty well. I used to use Dawn dish soap and water and I would say it is comparable. However, if something is really greasy and dirty like my sink is today, it just doesn't do quite as good of a job. So I am just going in with regular Dawn dish soap and giving it a really, really good scrub. I have been trying to decrease the amount of toxic cleaning and beauty products that I use. I did a full video on like my first reaction to the Branch Basics and kind of my reasoning for wanting to go low or toxin within my home. I will post a link to that somewhere up on the screen um, and as well I will post it down below if you want to check that out. In addition to the Branch Basics that I bought. You can also make your own non-toxic cleaning products using white vinegar and baking soda. I haven't really dipped my toes into the homemade cleaning products yet, but I definitely want to give that a shot. So definitely if you are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed because that will be coming soon. Wow, this sink was so dirty. It took a lot of scrubbing and a lot of Dawn dish soap to get it clean. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's been a long time since I scrubbed this sink. I have just not been good at keeping up with my household chores lately. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but I just have been lazy. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys feel the same way or if you are still going strong. Now we are moving on to my stovetop. And <laughs> I'm really embarrassed, but I have also not cleaned this in a while, as you can see. I'm not even sure what that stain is over on the left there, but we are going to try to get it out with the Branch Basics all-purpose cleaner and a regular sponge. So I'm just going to go through and kind of buff everything out. And then we are really going to try and get whatever food residue that is, I'm not even sure. And so far it is really not lifting at all with the branch basics and there were a couple other spots that were not coming up either so i did end up going in with dawn dish soap and water mixture to try and lift some of that 
food residue and it is starting to come off a little bit, but man, I am really having to scrub this. So this is just a great reminder that once you notice food residue or grease or whatever on your appliances or your stovetop just to nip it in the butt and clean it right then and there and not leave it there for a couple days because this took a lot of scrubbing to get out. And I don't normally like to use the bristle side of the sponge because I don't want to scratch up my stainless steel, but that was the only way that I was getting this out. And even so, I had to pick at it with my fingernails. So now to tackle the inside of my oven, there is a lot of food residue down on the bottom. And last time I tried to cook, it set off the fire alarms and woke my son up from his nap. So it is time to get this cleaned. I decided to just go in with Dawn dish soap and water instead of messing around with Branch Basics at this point because uh, it doesn't seem to be working for me too well today. So. I just am wiping it all down, but then it occurred to me that maybe I should have used the Branch Basics because then the Dawn dish soap and water will kind of burn off whenever I go to cook. Um, so I kind of regret doing that um, and I probably should have just used the self-clean option on my oven, um, but I've actually never done that before and kind of a little nervous too. I don't know why. Have you guys used the self-clean on your oven? How do you guys clean the inside of your oven? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you've watched some of my other videos before, you know that I am just a mom who has really no idea how to clean her house. So I'm kind of learning along with you guys and coming up with my own routine. So if there's any cleaning tips that you guys find super helpful, any hacks, I would love to know them and I would love to try them. So now I'm just cleaning off my countertops really well. I'm removing all of the items off of my countertops. I don't do this every single time that I clean, just when I wanna give a really good scrub. Especially underneath that coffee maker, there always is a lot of coffee residue that ends up under there. So every once in a while, I just like to remove all of the items and scrub down the countertops really, really well. One of my last cleaning videos, I asked you guys where you were from and what your weather was looking like. And I got some really cool responses and I just think it's so awesome that this platform allows us to connect with people from all over the world, all different walks of life. Someone said that they were from Sweden, someone else from Florida, and it's just really cool to be able to connect with you guys. So if you wanna let me know where you're from, what your weather is like today, I would love to connect with you guys in the comments. Um, so yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you're looking forward to in the next upcoming months. If you have any plans for the holidays, any holiday traditions that you want to share. I just really want to connect with you guys. I think as a mom and as a parent, it can really be isolating and lonely sometimes, even if you work outside the home. It's just, that was something when I first became a parent that I really was not ready for. So like I said, I want to connect with you guys. I want to know, you know, where you're from or things that you want to share with me. And yeah, so drop me a comment. 
So the next order of business is to wipe down all of my cabinets. I typically do try to do this once a week, but like I said earlier in this video, I have been lazy. So it's been a while and they are definitely getting very dirty. That is the curse of having white cabinets. Um, normally I use a cabinet cleaner that we got from Cabinets To Go. Um, my husband, he renovates houses and he uh, bought a kitchen from Cabinets To Go for one of his houses and they gave us a bottle of this cabinet cleaner and it does work really well. Um, but I am going to use the Branch Basics on the cabinets this time and honestly it did a fine job. Uh, I really didn't see any difference between that and the ones, the uh, solution that we got from Cabinets To Go. As I was cleaning my upper cabinets, I got really distracted by how dirty the exterior and interior of my microwave were. So I cleaned that really quickly with Branch Basics All Purpose and then I used the Branch Basics Streak Free on the outside and cleaned it with a microfiber towel. And do you guys ever do that where you are in the middle of cleaning something and because you're like so close to that area, you notice something else that is extremely dirty and you're like, I know that I'm cleaning the cabinets right now, but I just need to clean this before I move on to anything else. My cabinets, counters, sink, and stovetop are looking so good. I love having a clean kitchen. There is nothing better. I am now going to finish it up by cleaning off my fridge. I am just using my streak-free solution with microfiber towel. And the best way to clean a stainless steel fridge or any stainless steel appliance is just to use whatever cleaner you decide to use. I'm using obviously the non-toxic, streak-free. I used to use Dawn dish soap and water, which worked really well, and go in with two microfiber towels, one to buff it out, and then one to dry it and go in circular motions and just get it nice and smooth and streak-free. And I promise you that is the easiest, quickest, most efficient way to clean any stainless steel. Now I am moving on to the dirtiest corner of my house where my son's high chair is. Moms, if you know, then you know. There is food all over this wall and I am going to be using my Zep foaming wall cleaner. Um, I am totally aware that this is definitely not a non-toxic product, but I have not been able to find a good solution for it. It just works so good, you guys. If you need a good wall cleaner, this is the one. It is so good. I feel like I talk about it in every single one of my cleaning videos, but it really is a game changer for cleaning your walls. So it does have a very strong scent. So I will warn you if you are sensitive to uh, smells, then this will definitely give you a headache because it gives me a headache every time I use it. But it there's just no substitute for it it really makes your walls look so fresh and so clean and this corner needed it really really bad normally i would just vacuum this area and i would use my power dash floor cleaner however my son is taking a nap right now and i'm not going to risk him getting woken up by the vacuum cleaner so i'm just going to do some good old fashioned sweeping and mopping. I just sprayed my all purpose cleaner on the floor. It doubles as a floor cleaner and then just buffing it in with a mop. I am gonna use the Power Dash on the rest of my floors. Going in with the Zep foaming wall cleaner and a microfiber towel, I am just going to clean 
this wall here and then the wall by my front door, which um, these two walls get dirty so fast, I think because of the dogs probably. Um, I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm always cleaning these walls and they just get dirty time and time again. But I mean, hey, that is how it goes sometimes. I feel like I used to spend a lot of time just cleaning up after my son throughout the day and I just kind of stopped doing that. I usually clean up his toys at the end of the day and sometimes I don't even do that to be honest because it's just not worth it to clean up after him all day long. It's kind of just a waste of time. So I am just learning to live with the chaos, with the mess. We have a 15 month old toddler. He doesn't know how to put his toys away. So it's just a stage of life and you know, I'm okay with it. I love seeing his toy. Well, I don't love seeing his toys if I'm being honest. I'd rather have a clean floor, but I know in a few years, you know, when he's not playing with these toys and he's out driving around as a 16 year old with his license, I'm gonna miss these days of tripping over toys and having toys spilled all over my floor. So yeah, I'm learning to live with the chaos. Let me know in the comments down below, do you pick up after your kids all day long or do you kind of just let it go? I said I was gonna vacuum the rest of my floors, but my son is still napping and the dust and dirt on these floors are really bothering me. So I'm just going to do some good old fashioned sweeping. But these dogs, well, this dog, this is Chubbs. He does not make it easy. He is trying to eat all of the dirt and getting all the dirt that I just swept up all over the place. So I am just going to wait until my son wakes up and then we will continue with this cleaning day. Okay, now that my son is awake, we can continue on with this cleaning day. I am going to vacuum the entire first floor. And then after I'm done with vacuuming, we are going to use my Power Dash hard floor cleaner and give these floors a good scrub down. I wanna know how often do you guys mop or scrub your floors? I try to do it at least once a week and I should be doing it more just with the dogs. The floors get very dirty but sometimes I do it twice a week. I don't really have a cleaning schedule. I've said on my previous videos, I've tried to make cleaning schedules in the past and I just have not been able to stick to them. So I'm going to keep trying and hopefully I will find a cleaning schedule that works for me. This is my Power Dash hard floor cleaner. I've had it for about two years now and I absolutely love this thing. I don't typically mop my floors, I use this instead. It's just so easy and it really takes like the dirty work out of mopping. Um, so yeah, I will put a link to that in the description below if that's something that you wanna check out. The next thing that I'm doing is just putting these sheets on our couch. They do not look pretty. It is not aesthetically pleasing at all, but this is a lived in house and man, my dogs ruin our couch. We just got the couch cleaned by zero res and we really wanna protect the couch. I think we can probably find a better solution than this, but so far this is all we have come up with um, and it does the job. It just doesn't look pretty. But like I said, this is a lived in house with two dogs and a toddler and yeah, so that's what we're doing. Not pretty, but it gets the job done. Just continuing on with the getting it all done theme today, I am just gonna go through and clean out my diaper bag and restock it with diapers and snacks and things like that, extra clothes. It's been a while since I cleaned it out. And I realized when I was at my aunt's house the other day that I did not have any diapers. So 
yeah, that was something that needed to be done. While we were finishing up our cleaning day, I got a package delivered, which was the garland that I bought from Walmart. I am so excited to check it out. So let's get it off the front porch and see what it looks like. I also purchased a few things off of Amazon, some bells and some fairy lights. I've been seeing bells a lot in Pinterest photos, so I wanna incorporate them in my decorating this year. So here is the garland. It was $50 from Walmart and I thought it was gonna be much bigger. I wanted to use it on my mantle, but I will use it on my dining room table instead. It is really beautiful and realistic looking. It has the faux eucalyptus and the different pine as well as pine cones. So I do really like it. I think I probably overpaid for it, but I mean, what are you gonna do? That's what happens when you shop online sometimes. I think I just need to shop in store. I am going to be going shopping for some more Christmas decor. So watch out for that video. I will show you guys everything that I got. I'm definitely going for a more neutral and natural look. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope it gave you the inspiration and the motivation that you were looking for. Drop a comment down below if you plan to decorate early for Christmas this year or if you are waiting for after Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.